First Alert Weather is brought to you by the Medical Center. Well, we're starting the day here with plenty of sunshine. We may see a few clouds pop up this afternoon, but unfortunately, those clouds will not bring us any rain. In fact, it's going to be a few days before we get any somewhat decent rain chances in South Central Kentucky. Here's a look at First Alert. Live Doppler radar, all clear. Only seeing a lot of sunshine, high pressure and control. A little bit of haze out there, as we said a little bit earlier. 80 degrees already as we check temperatures around the uh, seven-day trend here. 90 is where we should be for this time of the year. We're certainly going to hit that today. Low 90s for the next couple of days, and you'll notice a little bit more humidity coming back into play as well, which means this is going to feel more like the mid-90s especially as we get into Tuesday afternoon and Wednesday. And then Wednesday afternoon is when we'll begin to see the effects of a cold front to the north of us dropping down out of the Great Lakes and then just kind of uh, stalling out over the area. And with that, little disturbances will come in with clouds and some showers, and that's going to help bring our temperatures down more into the mid-80s once we get into the latter part of the week and into the upcoming weekend. But the rain chances we're looking at don't look all that promising. We will get some scattered showers and thunderstorms out of that system, but not enough to make up that uh, almost six inch deficit on rainfall. Temperatures right now, we're mostly in the upper 70s once you head out to the Green River Lake and Lake Cumberland regions. And then as you head back to the west toward the land between the lakes, temperatures are more into the low 80s. Now, we do have dew points that have tried to come up into the low 60s, so it's, it feels moderately muggy. Back to the west, uh, dew points are in the 50s where it feels just a little bit better there. But we do have that bit of haze, as you can see, looking toward the hill at western. Otherwise, we're off to a mostly sunny start on this Monday. 80 degrees, the current temperature reading right now. East-northeasterly wind at 5, and that's helping. Uh, keep the uh, uh, humidity levels down a little bit too, or the mugginess. The air is mixing up just a little bit. Dew point at 61 with a 52% relative humidity reading and a falling barometer. Here's a look at some of the uh, AAA systems weather cams. There you see some of those puffy cumulus clouds starting to pop up now. Glasgow at 80 degrees, but otherwise sunny. As we head to Franklin, you're sunny, temperature at 83. Munfordville seeing some of those clouds at a temperature of 77. Litchfield seeing the same clouds. 80 is your temperature. 83 at the Bowling Green Airport. Most everyone upper 70s to low 80s, but upper 80s around Memphis, Tennessee, they'll easily get into the 90s today. And uh, we'll probably hit that as well, even though we're pacing just one degree cooler than at midday yesterday. Radar pretty clear at this hour. Complex of thunderstorms falling apart that affected Kansas City this morning. All of that activity is headed south and away from us. And as you can see here, nothing to show you except high pressure, which is in control of our weather over eastern Kentucky at this hour. Now, around that high, there are some scattered showers and thunderstorms. And now that we're on the backside of that high pressure system and we have that cold front I was telling you about coming down from the Great Lakes, it's going to meet up with some Gulf moisture as the Gulf opens up over the next couple of days. But it won't be tomorrow, won't be today either. It will be Wednesday before that front taps into that moisture at least for us, and gives us a chance of some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Well, we have the Hurricane Bertha now, Category 1 storm with winds of 81 miles per hour. It was just uh, categorized as a uh, Category 1 storm just a little while ago, but as you can see, it's going to veer back into the North Atlantic over the next several days. It may bring uh, some uh, high tides to the eastern seaboard, but nothing as far as the eastern half of the United States really will be affected by that storm at all. Mostly sunny, warm today, around 90 this afternoon. Then tonight, mainly clear, maybe some patchy fog at a low of 62. Tomorrow, we'll make it up to a little more humid, 91. Same for Wednesday, but that's when we'll begin to see scattered showers in the forecast Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, 40% each day, mainly during the afternoon and evening hours with highs in the middle 80s. We're back with more Midday Live in just a minute.